or something. So the time of it is really sure. I think I think that you know we these days people need it like so small to be digestible or you know they'll lose their interest or something yeah. really quick yeah you know? so that's why i'm doing one problem one problem one problem you know I think yeah. oh yeah yeah that's better it's almost better than doing you're right though some people, lecture, because you know? all of them be there for them yeah, yeah. and they'll mm -hmm. be like oh i have yeah. to sit there through yeah. these three problems to do this I other just got out of lecture. i know right <laughs> okay so let's do this next one one million argon atoms is blank moles of argon atoms okay so you know already, right? What, how many one mole is, right? How many things one mole is? How many is that? Um, you're talking about the Avogadro's number? The six point zero zero two 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 times ten to the twenty three. Remember, I told you that's just a number. Yeah, that's just it's a not, number. It's yeah. just like saying if you think think of this as like to chemistry, then you're losing the battle with the chemistry, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like you saying, like, dozen only is talking about donuts. I cannot apply that to eggs, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So I can have a dozen eggs, I can have a dozen donuts. I can have a bowl of donuts, eggs, anything. anything. Okay, so this is just whatever items, you know? It's just one big number. Yeah, it's just a huge freaking number, you know, that's it. In this case, since we're talking about argon atoms, what we really should write, just to be not confusing, is to say one mole of argon atoms, right, equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd argon atoms. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the best way to write. And then we know um, it says one million argon atoms is the number that we have. So the number we have of argon atoms is one million. So one, that's written out. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I guess they want this to two sig figs. Okay, so, um, whatever. The only reason I know that is because I'm looking at the... ...answers, or the, the options. Okay, so, we've got a number of argon atoms, and we've got a way to convert that number to moles. So that's all we need to do, you know? So, how many moles do we got? We got one mole. Moles, okay, so we go one mole, so our one million argon atoms and you want to get argon atoms out of there Right? Mm -hmm. So one mole of argon atoms equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd um, argon atoms. So argon atoms cancel out and you're left with moles of argon atom. So all you got to do is so would you expect this to be a number smaller or bigger than one? Just looking at it straight away. So this is like 1.0 times 10 to the 6, right? And this is 1.0 times 10 to the 23rd. It's going to be bigger, right? Well, is this, so this is dividing by this one. This one's big and this one's small. So you, that's like saying a small number divided by a big number. Is that bigger or smaller than one? That's bigger. This number is bigger or smaller than one? No, that's smaller. Okay, yes. no, don't, make me, don't, the, ma don't make me get my quarters <laughs> and my dollars out again, okay? So whenever you see a big number mm -hmm. divided, or a small number divided by a big number, right? Mm -hmm. This is much bigger than this, right? Yes. This is six, this is 23, right? It's going to be less than one. 
Okay? okay? So if your answer isn't less than one, you've done something wrong. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, one million. You wanted to do 100,000 divided by. We, we, we stick it with three six weeks? Um, let's see. The answer is going to be in two six weeks. Two six weeks. Yeah. That's the. So that would be one. So our options are either one or two six weeks. And I, from the answers, I would assume that it's going to be 1.7 times 10 to the negative 18. Yes. Argon, or yeah, oh, uh, moles, moles of argon. Right? Is that number bigger or smaller than one? That's smaller. How do you know that? Because of the negative. Negative on the 18. Yeah. On the negative on the 18. So, you want to always check yourself, right, before you go on to the next problem. So if you get something that's like a to the 23rd or something, like that doesn't make any sense, you know? Because mm -hmm. this isn't even one mole, right? Because yes. one mole is this many, you yes. know? So if this is 1.0 times 10 to the 6th, that's not that many, mm -hmm. right? That's not even close. You still got to multiply that by almost 4 to get that, right? Yeah. Okay? So you want to think about it that way. Cool with that one? Yes.